So before this video starts, please do not screenshot me or hold me accountable to anything because I am not a professional. So I'm trying to hold my hair because I took my braids out and I know I look absolutely crazy. But um, as you can see from the title of this video, I'm about to dye my hair and I'm taking you guys along. 90% of the time it is old hair. So I don't know if you guys remember, but if you go watch my homecoming vlogs, this was that same hair that I had. Um, this is just all the way from the first day of senior year to like homecoming. I used this hair and I got my hairstylist actually to put brown highlights in it but this time i'm thinking i just want to go blind and i'm going to use a little raggedy old closure that i have but yeah we're going blind this part of the video is just very explainable self-explanatory that's the bleach and the developer i used and this are the these are the oils that i am um, going to be using my hair i'm explain those a little bit later and this is also just a random edge control that i got that I wanted to try and these are just all of the products that I purchased before filming so my basic setup is a towel and I cut a trash bag in half and I just set that on the floor to keep it from damaging the towel plus the floor and I just throw the trash bag away and the cleanup is a lot easier I do two scoops of bleach to I don't know how much developer um, I like my consistency to be liquidy but not too liquidy, but not too thick, like you're bleaching the knots of a closure. And this is just a bowl and spatula from Sally's. You can pick this up anywhere. Just make sure it's not metal, only like plastic. And this is me combing out the closure. And I'm just going to go like bleach a piece, then skip it and bleach a piece. And I should have kept up with this method, but I thought I was doing something. So after I went through all the hair... And bleached the piece, skip bleached the piece. I went back and bleached all of the brown, thinking that it was gonna be like different tones and highlights. When really you are, you all are gonna see that it's all gonna end up being the same color. Um, I did that to the closure and all the bundles. I didn't really show it all, but I did the same thing. This is just how I keep my hair together. I wrap it around my hand and then I just pull it. And yeah, I have a bundle. And then I comb this hair out. This is wash and condition. I just haven't done nothing with it since homecoming. So it's tangly. And I'm just showing you guys how I do it. You see, I bleached. Bleach. And then I think I'm going to show me skipping a piece. Yep. And then I bleached that piece. And I should have kept up with this method. It probably would have been a lot better. But, oh well. Um... Yeah, please guys don't screenshot me or come at me in the comments. I'm totally not a professional. Totally don't know what I'm doing. This is just how all my colors turned out. I always have good luck with colors, so yeah. I started at full four. It's currently 4.59 and all of the hair is washed and conditioned. Um, I'm just letting the conditioner, I'm going to let the conditioner sit on it while I put do my braid pattern. Just because it's been bleached. And the bleach was sitting on there for, on some of the pieces, for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, the reason I showed y'all the oil is because I'm going to use these oils on my hair. Like when I braid, I'm going to put the peppermint oil on my scalp just because it gives that cooling sensation. And then I'm going to put the black castor oil on my edges just because that's the, these two oils and um, shea butter like oil are the only two oils that really, you know, help my hair grow. So I'm gonna show y'all my little setup in a minute. Here I'm always in the bathroom. My mirror is dirty, but I use my laptop and my chair for entertainment. So I believe I'm coming on here looking like this. But it's six thirty-five, and this I just wanted you guys to know I was done with my braiding pattern. Um, I leave my edges out on my frontal, just um, on my closure, just so. Um, you can see like the naturalness. This is my braid pattern. I don't do nothing too fancy just because why not? And I always leave these out because I just do. And this is just my braid pattern. So I don't want to show my face, but I am about to wash the conditioner out of my hair and go get some ice cream because I need a break. And We'll see what time I start. So. One, and this is how the color looks. Um, it's semi-dry or whatever. 
Um, I'm getting more Beyonce vibes and less white girl highlights vibes. So I think I'm going to go in with more bleach. And then I'm going to use a darker rinse to create more highlights. Because I don't, I didn't want it to all be blind. Uh, but yeah, so I think I'm going to go in with more bleach and some dark rinse to create that. The closure doesn't look that good. <laughs> the closure, I'm trying to show y'all. The closure highlights aren't that bad though. So I think I'm going to leave the closure alone because you can see the closure is more high and low lighted. Um, yeah, and the closure is yellow. Um, I need to go probably get some purple shampoo to get this orange out tomorrow. Um, let me just, this probably looks a hot ass mess though. Ah. The box dye and like do that where I could highlight it again. So these are the only two dyes. This is a Viva hair color and natural brown. And this is some leftover dyes when I dye Asia's hair. It's a cream of nature's um dye. I'm gonna put this one in a bowl and put um, some conditioner in it to lighten it up. And then I'm going to put this on top of all of that. We're gonna see how this works out guys. So stay tuned. Literally, right now, at this instant, I am spilling all the tea, all the secrets, everything I've learned by myself for y'all. Um, this is how the color turned out. Um, this is it blow dry halfway. Um, I just ran the blow dryer through it. I really didn't want to mess up the waves, but I already did that. Um, if y'all watch my, I think that's my prom blog, my, my senior year one, I told y'all I leave my edges out and these are my edges i permed them um i just bought this new edge control this is the edge control i use um this my part is usually a little bit deeper right like it's usually somewhere in this area but literally from me slicking down my edges and always 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 having my parts right there with my closures it was starting to be a little thin and it was balding and it actually didn't look as natural with my closures because it'll be like a big gap right here and then my part so i decided to just move it up a little bit um this is the closure um this is probably my last time wearing this closure because it is very bald and it's been through hell and back so no i'm not blonde no it's not really orange no it's not black it just is what it is at this point um no, I didn't use my little technique of flattening my closure. This is just it being wet, and you have to train the hair to stay that way. I'm probably going. I'm going to buy a new closure for school, so I will show you guys how to start from like a raw closure. Um, but yeah, I just quickly tried to lay my edges so it looks somewhat natural, and I put powder over my part. Instead of using concealer, powder looks a lot more natural than concealer. But yeah, this is the hair color. I haven't even looked at the back, so there's no telling what the back looks like. 
Um, I hope this video is not like low, low quality, but I do hope it helps some of y'all because every time I get a new hairstyle, every time I do my hair a different way, y'all be blowing up my phone. So, yeah, this is what it looks like untucked by my ear, you know? It's giving me like deeper Beyonce vibes. It's not quite blonde, but it'll do. I hope this video helped a lot of you guys. And I'll see y'all in my next video. So it's the next morning. Um, this is what the hair looks like. Y'all know that new law in Georgia. I'm not supposed to be having my phone now. But um, this is what it looks like. I don't know what this is on my face. I don't know. <laughs> um, this is it in natural lighting. It's giving me like, like I said last night, Beyonce vibes. This is just the hair after I braided it. I think this is a deep wave hair. Yeah, it gotta be. But, um, yeah, I didn't do anything extra to this morning. I just put some, like, a straightening serum on it. That serum I used in my 3-in-1 video, if y'all saw that. But, um, well, I'm in the shade now. But, yeah, um, again, I put some more makeup on my part, you know, make that finesse. But, um, I'm really finessing this whole hairstyle because this is, like, two and a half bundles if that and i'm used to like three so this is not nearly as thick as i'm used to plus this closure is bald as fuck like this has got to be my last time um i hope this isn't blonde as i wanted it i want it to be like white girl blonde but i hope this video helps some of i didn't think i was recording i hope this video helps some of y'all and i'll see y'all my next one bye